Welcome to on how to use HelloFax and this is Kirk Johnson. So let's get started. I'm already assuming that you know how to log into websites, so I won't go there. First thing I want to notice here is once I log in, I can send a fax. One thing I can do is I can upload a file, drag a file there, as well upload it through Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, Evernote, and SkyDrive. Okay, excellent. I can also back up to these things too as well. The SkyDrive, you know, Google Drive and all that, you just need to configure it. Not that big deal. I won't cover that in here, but I'll cover the rest of it. So the other thing you should notice is that you can either enter a fax number or an email address. Now, I always send it by email unless I have to send it by fax. Because I just don't see a point in fax numbers anymore and I got email to do the same thing. But, hey, if somebody's got a fax number, put the fax number in. Emails are unlimited, faxes, um, you know, you just have some type of limit to it. But not a big deal. Another thing you can do is add recipients. Again, phone number or email address. Okay, great. I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to click my normal monthly technology fee agreement. Okay, so I'll, I'll take a just a second to upload. Voila. And if this was real, of course, I'd put something in here. But I uploaded this, and I get this edit and sign. Okay, let's get to it. So I got this here, and I want to sign this. Okay, I'll go up to the signature, and I can click and drag this down here. Boom, it's going to pop open. I got four different ways I can create my signature. Now, there are two ways that will work. Even if people say they don't accept it, the other two ways won't work. So first, let's just go over the first one, draw it in. You can use your mouse to actually put your signature in here. I absolutely suck with my mouse. I was trying to write anything on here, so I would not choose this way myself, but if you've got a light pen or you're good with your mouse, you could draw your, your, your signature through this way. I'm not good. You could type it in. Now, this is just a font. As you can tell, it looks like a font. Some look like more of a font than others, but they definitely um, look like a font. Now, there are still some people out there say we do not accept digital signatures, and this, this is exactly what they're talking about. It's just a font. Even though I say, yes, I understand this is a legal representation of my signature, it is not your actual signature. That's why they have a problem with it. There's no way, no traceability there. So it kind of becomes a little bit of problematic. But that's all right. Maybe just don't type it in. A lot of places still accept this. Some places will not. Then you got to upload an image file. This is how I created my signature. I took a piece of paper, took a thick felt tip pen. Do not use a thin ballpoint because your signature will get washed out when you upload it and crop and contrast. So do make sure you use a you know a decently thick felt tip pen or something. Actually, you know, do your signature. Take a picture of it with your phone or whatever, or not with phone, but with your camera or I don't know, what, what other device you got out there. Upload it, crop and contrast, just like it shows here, and then you can save it. And that's how I created mine here. Now you can do the smartphone. Again, piece of paper, thick felt tip pen, write your signature, and you can take a picture with your smartphone, email it to sign at hellofax.com. Just highlight that. Come on. There we go. You email to that with, this is your subject, and this is a hexadecimal number. Don't worry about if you don't know what that is. Just to understand, this is how it uni uniquely identifies you. That's all you need to know. So again, this is a smartphone way. Piece of paper, take a felt tip in, draw your signature, take a picture with your smartphone, set this email with that as subject, and they will hook it up for you. Now, this might take a little bit of time for them to do it, you know, maybe up to 24 hours, depending, or if on a weekend, might have to wait till Monday because they got to do a little thing in their back end. But they upload an image file you can do yourself, and that's part of the fastest way. And this is also the same way that you will be able to insert this into any document. Even if they say they don't accept digital signatures, and they will because they can't tell the difference. And so I put this in here, and then what I can do is I can hover over this. And get a little hand there, and I can move this all the way anywhere I want to. Not only that, 
as I can grab the bottom right corner, I can make this large, I can make this small. But what I want to do is to make sure this is going to pass the muster, I'm going to make it just the right size to fit in there to make it look like I signed it. Beautiful. I like it. And, and then the rest of it, I'm just click and drag a date here. The rest of you just kind of click and drag stuff around. Now, the rest of it, they don't care whether if it's typed in or not. It's just their signature because that's supposed to be your legal representation. And that's why they're kind of a little touchy on that. Another thing you can do is also text. Uh, let's see, maybe do 18 text. Uh, maybe I'll dig that down here and then, you know, blah, 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 whatever you got to write in there. And let's say maybe a, yeah, let's get a little bit over here. Uh, maybe you need a, a check mark here, maybe a, a check mark there. Oh, I've got initials. I'll always pop that in there. This one I just kind of use saved. I actually need to actually do the same thing. I need to do the upload file for this. And this is the font way, and it's not really that great. So I really should, I'll just use this for example, but it'd be better off if you just actually create it, upload it. Because again, if there are little sticklers on it, that's the way you get that to pass. And again, you, you can resize this thing, make it fit. I'm just throwing things around. <laughs> And of course you could throw some text in there, whatever, you know, and then so on and so on. So after I get this all filled out to, you know, whatever it's supposed to happen here, I'm going to go ahead and I would click continue if this was real. Of course it's not, so I'll just hit cancel. But if this was real, then I would hit continue, which goes back to the, the page here. And I just hit it, send it now. And of course, it'll send it off to the email address or to the fax number. That's all there is to it. Goodbye.